Okay, hey guys, so welcome to the unboxing of my new Glycine GL1006. Uh, it's a quartz GMT. Um, I haven't seen this one uh, before. I just came across it on eBay the other day, and um, I've been looking for an affordable GMT uh, for a while now that was something other than, you know, a, a, you know, a Parnas or some kind of Rolex, a cheap Rolex homage, you know, it's... Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, I thought it was uh, just something a bit different and um, it would be handy for, for traveling if, if we ever get back to, to traveling again. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look. So this is just the, the outer box. Comes in quite a nice sort of soft touch box on the inside. And uh, there we go. Let's have a look. Ooh. It's a nice solid box, but this will be living in my uh, my watch box. Um, yeah, so there there we go. It's uh, it's it's on the large side. It's a forty five millimeter. Let's just take the the plastic off, and as you can see, it's a pretty simple simple style. It's got some uh, italicized numbers, which give it a you know, maybe a bit of a like a car speedo kind of feel. It's got quite a nice uh, glycine logo on the back there. Uh, it's 200 meters water resistant. It's got a screw down crown, sapphire crystal, stainless steel. It's got a, uh, a signed crown, which is nice. And it's got a Cordura uh, strap. It's kind of in the pictures online, it looks pretty gray, but it's in person, it's a little bit more uh, green, but it's still more gray than there's, there's another color option that does come with a, with a green uh, strap. Uh, and it's got quite a nice deployment clasp on it as well. So let's uh, just get this off so we can have a look. Quite a quite a nice finish. I haven't had a a, um, a PDV a PVD finished watch before, so it's kind of a first for me. It's got well protected with all the uh, plastic on every little part. So let's get all that out of the way. And uh, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. So this is probably a little bit bigger than I would normally purchase a watch, but it is a pilot's watch and they are meant to be uh, bigger for clarity's sake. So let's see, there we go. There we go, that's not too bad. I think it'll look good with plenty of other straps as well. I've got this one, which I think might go nicely with it. And just other NATO straps, like a green or a gray NATO would look nice. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe a a, um, a black sailcloth with red stitching to match the, the second hand um, and the GMT markings in hand. I think that would go quite nicely with it. Um, I'm a fan of the uh, the Mr. Sailcloth straps because they're instead of lined with leather, they're they're fully waterproof, so you can swim with them, um, uh, which is uh, really good for a, a sailcloth option. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's my new GMT. I'm quite pleased with that. I think so. Um, yeah. Oh. now I was going to weigh it as well. So let's have a look. We've got the. Got the coffee scales here. So it comes in at 103.4 grams, so that's not not too bad. I mean, it is a quartz, so they they tend to be lighter, but it is quite a quite a substantial uh, watch, and it's it's got a nice a nice weight to it. Uh, quite nice, nicely finished. 
it's that slightly lighter, you know, it's not like that really, really dark matte um, PVD you get, but it's uh, it's got a, it's really nicely finished. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this one. So thanks very much. I hope this video was useful.